Why are you hitting yourself? 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 Why are you <laughs> Don't look at me like that. This is the funnest thing I've done all day in Fallout right now. Oops. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Oops. 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 <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can uh, throw this and- Oh gosh, I'm sorry! Twenty seventeen was a pretty insane year. I think that's in one word how I could describe it because it was a year where a side job sort of thing in the summer of twenty sixteen where I just made videos hoping that it would catch on on YouTube and hoping that people would actually like them turned into a full time career and what I do every day. Now every day consists of capturing those awesome, special, or funny moments in video games, putting them into a showcase that I can give to you guys so that people that might not be able to play those games or might not have the buddies to play games with, you know, can still have that fun that we have in the games and I can kind of share my experience in gaming with people that might not even be gamers. And that's something that's really special to me because there's a lot of viewers nowadays watching the videos compared to what there were even a year ago and that's just crazy to me how people have actually caught on to the videos and such and uh, this will be a look back at 2017 because I think it was the most influential year of my life I definitely uh, took off in a direction that I wanted to do and there was a lot of people that told me not to and a lot of people that uh, didn't believe in it but it turned out to be something that has made me probably the happiest I've ever been for a very, very long time, and especially when I wasn't very happy during times like high school, it was something that uh, that was actually pretty beneficial for my life. Um, our first question today, I'll be actually answering some questions as well, uh, because I looked through about a thousand, maybe two thousand YouTube comments in the past week or two. Um, I looked through all my Facebook, Twitter, Discord, Instagram messages, and checked all my emails and such, and I kind of made a list of the overall questions that people ask me, and the first off was asked by a good bit of people, especially in the Q&A, and that was, why did you start your channel and what inspired you, or how did you start your channel um, and what inspired you to do so? And that is definitely um, an interesting question. I was in high school at the time, and in high school, I didn't make too good of grades, and so I was extremely stressed during that time as a, as a 15, 14-year-old guy, and, uh, and I didn't really make good grades, and so when I would come home from school instead of doing homework because I knew that I wouldn't be able to even do the homework that well, I would just play video games. I, I don't know, I got stuck in an internal loop because I... I would be not really able to do the homework just at home because I didn't really know how to and I couldn't get any help without really acting like or feeling like I was a leech on somebody else. And so I just play video games because I would just kind of give up. I'd just say I can't really I can't fix this, you know, and I would just play Battlefield 4 all day. And I also would watch YouTubers like uh, Frankie on PC where his videos are very immersive, they're very dynamic, they're very fun and exciting and, and happy most of the time. And those types of videos made me happy as well. Watching his stuff is probably one of the most inspiring things I've done in my past to start my YouTube channel later on. I also watched people like Level Cap and Jack Frags. Um, I watched a lot of people that surrounded Battlefield 3 back in the day because that was the main game that I used to play, especially in earlier high school. And uh, I think those are the YouTubers that really inspired me to do it. Also, my brother, Demolition Matt, I mean, he is, uh, he's definitely has a successful channel and such, and that was a good inspiration too. But even more than that, I think that the YouTubers that I looked at online, they were like celebrities to me. And being able to talk to some of them nowadays is something that's absolutely just it's still insane to me. Um, because even <laughs> my friend Matthew, who I'll, I'll, I'll talk about in a second because he's the one that basically helped me start my channel back in the day. Um, but my friend Matthew asked me a question about a week ago, and it was, uh, what was the most surprising thing about 2017 uh, in, in YouTube, or about the entirety of a YouTube channel? And I said that basically, no matter the growth on the channel, I still feel like I'm at 1,000 or 2,000 subs. I still feel like I'm the super underdog guy, and I still feel like I look up to those YouTubers just the same. And it's, it's just crazy, because like, 
I don't feel any closer to them. I still feel like they're celebrities and they're out there doing super cool stuff. And here I am just trying to be a YouTuber. You know, that's that's exactly how I feel about the whole situation. But how I made my YouTube channel, um, my friend Matthew, as I mentioned earlier, he, we we wanted to create two channels and like do collabs with each other when we were 14, probably, and uh, 15, maybe. And so we created channels. He created Phantom Films Gaming. I created Drewski the Adventurer. And uh, I originally thought I was gonna be like a Daisy standalone or Daisy mod YouTuber, um, but eventually I just turned into an Arma Three YouTuber. But we we created two videos. He created this Ace of Spades commentary video, which was like a blocky first-person shooter game, and then I created one off of uh, an Arma Two mini game that we had created called Bunny Hunt. It's basically prop hunt but with rabbits, um, and it's a really funny video. It's still on my channel if you want to go look at it. It's if you sort by oldest, it's the first one that'll pop up. Just called Bunny Hunt it has a big bunny in the logo. And that was definitely one of the funnier videos, and I'm kind of proud of that one. It seems stupid to be proud of that video, but I'm a lot of YouTubers are like grossed out by their first few videos, but I feel like actually my first few were better than the ones that came after it. So, um, yeah, Bunny Hunt is still like, I think it's still a funny video to watch today, but I won't, I won't show it too much or talk about it too much in here. I don't really want to annoy anybody with that type of uh, content, but you can go check it out if you'd like to. Um, but yeah, so I created that and then I started doing um, Arma 3 guides. I started working on Arma 3 helicopter guides and also like uh, Arma 3 weapon guides. I would take some inspiration from YouTubers like Level Cap where they went over the statistics of exact weapons and talked about which weapon is objectively better than the other. And I thought that was really cool. So I wanted to pull on, pull off something like that in Arma. And so I went over um, and made a series called Red versus Blue. And this was the one series that I've ever had on my channel, which is funny because I've had, you know, like 25 squad videos on my channel, but I don't really call that a series. I just have that a playlist in my channel and I have King of the Hill. Um, and I guess I should put like them in order and have them like episode one to 25. But I feel like uh, even if you go to my first King of Hill videos, they're kind of crap compared to what I do now. I've, I've tried to uh, definitely raise the quality and I go back and look at my old ones I'm like there's just 30 minutes of dead space with like a few kills and now it's like my my videos are basically montages of like an hour or like a day worth of footage put into 10 minutes of footage but yeah so I started creating that red versus blue series where I went over like the statistics of different weapons in Arma 3 and also vehicles and uniforms and gear and such and that was a really really fun series to do you know being able to study the game like that like nobody else had before was really interesting for me and I feel like that was uh that was definitely the the moment where I said, okay, this is kind of cool. Like people are asking for this series and they know this series is made by me. Like th people at the time were sending emails to me like, hey, Drewski, when's the next Red versus Blue gonna be up? And I felt at that moment like I was an actual creator. And that was at like probably 2000, maybe 5,000 subs. Um, and, and it was definitely pretty challenging to get um, out of the zero to a thousand range, especially in subscribers. I mean, this is the thing, it's like, I still I still congratulate people so much if they hit 500 subs or a thousand subs like that's that's an achievement on YouTube YouTube is so competitive it's so hard to get out of that zero to a hundred sub range or a hundred to a thousand sub range but once you get to you know from zero to a thousand it's just as easy or it's just as hard to get from a thousand to ten thousand so you're basically working the same amount of time but you're exponentially growing as well which is kind of the cool thing about youtube is that the more you work on it the more you grow over time another question was what games did you play in 2017 but didn't upload or like are you playing this at the moment are you playing this at the moment um the games that i would say that i played a good bit without uploading too much of is uh mostly single player games like fallout and skyrim i play a lot of fallout 4 and new vegas um, as well as earlier in the year i played a ton of skyrim uh, those are the games that whenever i'm stressed i just go and play because sometimes you know people get stressful and you just want to go by yourself in your mom's basement and play some gosh darn skyrim <laughs> no but uh yeah i used to have those games on my xbox 360 and during uh during like middle schoolish times i think late middle school early high school i played fallout new vegas a lot i played probably at least 800 hours of fallout new vegas and at the time that was like probably my most played game ever 
And uh, I was really proud of like how I developed my character in New Vegas, and I felt like my character really represented like me because I had spent so much time on that character. And that save file is still on my Xbox 360, and I wish I could transfer it to PC. But uh, yeah, and 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 so uh, I definitely had a lot of fun on Fallout New Vegas, and then that kind of transferred over to Skyrim and Fallout 4 later on. But uh, I also played a good bit of Battlefield that I don't really publish too much because I feel like YouTube has so much Battlefield content. I don't know if I, I'm always self-conscious about po like posting Battlefield just because I feel like a video, even though it might be on like a gun that I haven't really seen a video on. I feel like somebody out there has already made a video on every single gun in Battlefield or every single type of uh, funny moment in Battlefield. So I never really post too much Battlefield content. I try to post every once in a while to kind of appease those people. But I feel like uh, next year I might try to post some more of uh, Battlefield stuffs as well as some Rainbow Six Siege. That's a game that we play a lot um, in Battlefront 2 as well. I play a lot of that game, but I don't post that because usually it just gets down votes. Another question was, are your videos getting demonetized? Um, well, demonetization doesn't work like it used to um, about like six months ago or something. Or for six months of the year uh, in 2017, uh, my videos were getting demonetized without my, uh, without notification. Is that the right? Yeah, yeah, that's the right word. Without notification, videos were getting demonetized. And I couldn't tell which videos were getting demonetized. I just saw a... 60% drop in revenue to down to 40% of revenue that I used to make beforehand and that lasted for around five to six months so think of your boss handing you only let's say uh, let's say you work 10 hours a day for 10 bucks an hour he hands you only 40 bucks for 10 hours of work and you go what I just did 10 hours of work and he goes yep and he just stares you in the eye and then he just turns around and walks off and you're like hey hey I I only got 40 bucks and he turns around and he goes Oh, it's okay. We'll fix that later. And then he just walks away. That's exactly what YouTube basically pulled on all of its YouTubers that basically support the site. And uh, they didn't fix it for half a year, which was kind of uh, disappointing. But now it's basically fixed after they um, had added the little yellow dollar sign like thing. Because that basically shows a YouTuber, hey, this video is demonetized temporarily. Um, you can like request a manual review on this video to get it re-monetized and around I would say 90% of my videos or 85 maybe get demonetized for a few hours but I usually am able to catch them and request a review and there's usually a manual review in probably an hour or two on most of my videos so that is something that still is extremely aggravating to me because I have to work harder for something that is YouTube's fault Another question was, what do you think is in the uh, future for your channel? And I, I want to answer that question with going back to um, kind of what was the inspiration for my channel. And that was when I was, you know, 14, 15, and I was watching YouTubers like Frankie and Level Cap on YouTube and really enjoying their content. I think the future or the end goal of my channel is to reach a point where I can create the content that I would have loved to watch when I was 14 and when I was 13. And that's like... I guess content that's similar to the people that I looked up to as well. And eventually I want to get to that point where my quality is good enough that I would have just absolutely loved the content back uh, when I was younger. And I, I, I eventually want to get to that point because I feel like the the Battlefield 3 era of, of YouTube was one of the best I think I've ever seen. I think the content around that time by all YouTubers who covered the game was just so plentiful and so much fun to watch and... I think everybody really enjoyed it. And I don't know if that's ever really come back with any other game. I think, you know, there's been trendy games like Counter-Strike and PUBG, but I don't think that they have the the magic of the um, of Battlefield 3 because Battlefield 3 was where a lot of YouTubers made their name in. That was the game that, like, even though Frankie, you know, he made a lot of DayZ videos, I think he made even more Battlefield 3 videos and Battlefield Bad Company and Battlefield 4 videos. And uh, I think that's where he really enjoyed his content the most, is making those types of videos, even sometimes over the DayZ ones. And you can really see it with a lot of creators like the guys at Neebs Gaming who made Battlefield Friends. Like, the community around Battlefield 3 was so strong, and I hope that someday a game like Battlefield will bring that community back to where 
the community just outright loves the game so much that they create cartoons for it, you know, that sort of thing. And I've, I've never really seen that since. And I hope that someday maybe I'll be a part of the next community that is able to bring up, um, you know, such a showcase of videos from different creators like that to the average viewer who is a younger uh, kid like me in high school. Also, I want to start streaming more. I want to make it like a two hours a day, five days a week sort of situation where it's almost like a, a, a side thing for me where I stream as well as make YouTube videos. That wouldn't affect YouTube videos because I've gotten so efficient lately at making videos a lot faster, but also not really being able to burn myself out on them and still make them higher quality, but also faster just because I've gotten more comfortable with editing and recording over time um, and, and also gotten my schedule down quite a bit. So I don't know if I'll, I'll ever have scheduled uploads just because that's just not the way I am. I'm not a very organized person, but definitely scheduled streams will probably be a thing at some point in later January, early February, probably. So guys, I'm going to be heading out for the day and I hope you enjoyed this video we're definitely gonna have some really really cool things coming up in the next week or two on the channel some public event sort of things where we have some whitelist signups and stuff and we get to do this kind of cool event in some sort of game and I don't want to talk too much about it yet because it'll be released in a trailer coming soon but uh, it's pretty cool stuff that we've been kind of brainstorming on and working on for the past few weeks and I think uh, I think it'll be pretty exciting to view PC gamers out there so I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching everybody and happy Happy 2018. Got him. Nice. Good job. Oh my god, Becky, look at that. Fuck it up. Wrist on ice with the 40 states up. Got a head full of dreams and a heart full of love. But I never made the money, so nobody gave a fuck. Friday night, what you wanna do? Solo, hit him to sacrifice. No more Xbox Live in the room. I'm alright. Finish 40s while I'm listening to Tattoo.